सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मार्कर द सिंगल न्यूक्लियोटाइप पॉलीमोरफिज वेयर साइंटिस्ट आर मिलनी यूजिंग दिस मोलिकुलर मार्कर फॉर जीनो टाइपिंग पर्पज सो अगेन गुड मॉर्निंग विकास मंगल दिस इज साइंटिस्ट जेनेटिक्स एंड प्लान बिडिंग क्रीजेफ बैरकफोर्ड एंड इफ यू नीड दिस पी पी टी देन पुट योर ई मेल आई डी इन अवर यूट्यूब कमेंट बॉक्स नाउ कमिंग टू दवर फर्स्ट लाइफ द सिंगल न्यूक्लियोटाइड पॉलीमोरफिम वॉट इज द सिंगल न्यूक्लियोटाइड पॉलीमोरफिम सो फर्स्टली इट इज प्रोनाउंस एज स्निप्स जस्ट लाइक आर ए पी डी मार्कर आर ए पी डी मार्कर प्रोनाउंस रेपिड लाइक ए सिंगल न्यूक्लियोटाइड पॉलीमोरफिम मार्कर प्रोनाउंस एज स्निप्स सो वाट इज एस एन पी दिस एस एन पी डिस्क्राइब वेरिएशन एमोंग डिफरेंट इंडिविजुअल्स ऑफ ए स्पीसी फॉर सिंगल बेस पेयर एट द करस्पॉन्डिंग साइट ऑफ देयर जीनोम यू कैन सी दिस इज द जीनोम ऑफ ए सिंगल स्पीसीज ऑफ टू इंडिविजुअल्स सो यू कैन सी द ऑल द जीनोम्स आर सेम एक्सेप्ट दिस पोजिशन जी इज रिप्लेस बाई टी सो इट मीन्स द सब्सटीट्यूशन ऑफ सिंगल बेस पेयर बाई द अनदर बेस पेयर सो दिस इज कार सिंगल न्यूक्लियोटाइड पॉलीमोरफिजम सिंगल न्यूक्लियोटाइड मतलब वी आर डिटेक्टिंग पॉलीमोरफिम ऑन सिंगल न्यूक्लियोटाइड सो एस एन पी डिस्क्राइब वेरिएशन एमोंग डिफरेंट इंडिविजुअल ऑफ ए सेम स्पीसी फॉर सिंगल बेस पेयर एट द करस्पॉन्डिंग साइट ऑफ देयर जीनोम इट मीन ईच एस एन पी लोकस हैज टू बी डिफाइन बाय द सिक्वेंस फ्लैंकिंग द पॉलीमोरफिक न्यूक्लियोटाइड डेफिनेटली any marker defined by their flanking sequence flanking sequence mean the sequence which is present the right and the left border this is called the flanking sequence and a snp locus this is flanking sequence and a snp locus can have four allele four allele why because in a uh, dna four nucleotides are there a t g and c so is so it means uh, g Instead of G, T can be there, A can be there, C can be there. It means a SNP locus can have four allele, four possibility. Each allele being represented by one of the four DNA nucleotide. But, but in any case, but at a time, at a time the SNP can't have four allele like uh, SSR marker. In any case, the SNP are usually scored as biallelic marker. Biallelic marker means at one time only two positions are there, just like G and T. So at any case. SNP are usually score as the biallelic markers, but it SNP locus can have four alleles, but it is biallelic marker. That's why this SNP marker gives less information as compared to SSR marker. But SNP markers are present in more in number as compared to SSR marker. That's why this is more uh, useful as compared to SSR marker. Otherwise, SSR marker is hyper variable marker or multi allelic marker. But SNP is a bi allelic marker. This question asked in many interviews and many exams. It means that the one nucleotide replaces the another nucleotide. This is called SNP. It means SNP are produced by either transition or transversion. Transition means the purine is replaced by another purine or pyrimidine is replaced by another pyrimidine. And transversion means the purine is replaced by another pyrimidine. A pyrimidine is replaced by another purine. So purine to purine, pyrimidine to pyrimidine transition, a purine to pyrimidine, pyrimidine to purine transversion. So the region of SNP can be any there, but transition mainly occur transition. okay so transition is the main region more frequent region of snp and we all know that the most important point they are extremely abundant that's why snp are more useful as comparison to ssr marker because they are extremely abundant means they are present throughout the genome and about one snp every 100 to 3 base pair of a plant genome so you can't imagine in a plant species how many snps are possible because they are present every 100 to 300 base pair of a plant genome so please note down all these points now coming this okay, this snp have low mutation rate and easy to detect in snp have low mutation rate and easy to detect okay and they are present mainly in, into the non coding region as compared to the coding regions so Low, uh, they are present in the non-coding region as compared to, uh, region to the coding region. That's why they have low mutation rate. Please understand. Try to understand the concept behind this. That the selection pressure apply into the coding region because coding regions uh, uh, express in terms of phenotype. So where phenotype is possible, selection pressure is applied by nature. But non-coding region, it is a non-expression part of a gene. So that's why due to lack of selection pressure. lack of selection pressure they are retained in the non coding region they are retained in the non coding regions okay and we can say they have low mutation rate 
एंड मेज बट एस एन पी कैन बी जनरेट फिनोटिपिक इफेक्ट दे आर प्रेजेंट मेनली द नॉन कोडिंग रीजन बट दे कैन बी जनरेट द फिनोटिपिक इफेक्ट फिनोटिप इफेक्ट बाई आइदर अल्टरिंग आइदर द अमीनो एसिड सिक्वेंस ऑफ द इनकोडर प्रोटीन और द स्प्लाइसिंग पैटर्न ऑफ द आर एन ए ट्रांसक्रिप्ट इट मीन्स दे आर ऑल्सो यूजफुल इन जनरेटिंग डिफरेंट फिनोटिपिक इफेक्ट जस्ट लाइक फिनाइल क्यूटोन एरिया मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स आर देर फॉर वन निक्लोटाइज रिप्लेस बाई अनदर निक्लोटाइज एंड Why they are important? Actually, the SSR marker, which we already discussed, this is only suitable for medium high throughput. SSR marker is not suitable for ultra high throughput genotyping sequencing. But this marker, this is the ideal for automation, high throughput marker discovery and the analysis. This is the most important point regarding SNP. Why SNP is mostly used? And these are the two terms used: orthologous and paralogous genes. They comes in CSIR again. What is orthologous gene? Orthologous genes are those genes of different species that perform the same function. Perform the same function. And paralogous genes are the gene present in the genome of the same species and have the same function. Actually, they are related to the SNP. Why? That's why these definitions are in there. And they are created mainly by the duplication event or polyploidization event. Now coming to the next slide. Now coming to the types of SNP. Actually, SNP have different types, but I mention only the most important types. Actually, where SNP is present, the names come from this intronic SNP, non-coding SNP, and this type of SNP. So they either can be present in the non-coding region mainly found, and they can be present in the coding coding SNP. So in non-coding SNP, the those non-coding SNP which are present on the intron part, they are called intronic SNP, or non. And in the coding SNP are also called the exonic SNP. Okay. so these snp according snp can be two types synonyms snp or non synonyms snp so synonyms snp means ki does not lead to a change in the amino acid sequence of the concern protein but the snp which does not lead to a change in the amino acid sequence of the concern protein this are called synonyms snp what is the reason we should know actually what is the concept behind this because we all know that due to the degeneracy of the genetic code due to the degeneracy of the genetic code this synonyms snp does not lead to change in the amino acid sequence of the concern protein and non synonyms snp non synonyms snp the those snp which alter the amino acid sequence so non synonyms snp they can, can be two types either missense or nonsense okay either missense or nonsense we all know about this missense and nonsense okay now coming to the most important term haplotype okay if any in molecular genetics when this word come haplotype to so haplotype means something which inherited together this is called haplotype so it here we are talking about the snp so snp inherited together it means many snp located close to each other tend to be inherited together many snp located close to each other tend to be inherited together so the alleles of such snp located in the same chromosome together constitute the snp haplotype okay i already mentioned ki where snp are present the name come like reference snp the term reference snp come r e f s n p a snp that serve as a reference point for defining neighboring snp so you can note down these points okay now coming to the methods for discovery of snp so many methods are there for discovery of snp i will not discuss detail about i will discuss only the name this is the amplicon sequencing actually in starting uh, the discovery of snp on the basis of resequencing of the genome but resequencing of the whole genome was a very tough type that's why this amplicon sequencing come it means only amplify only sequencing of the amplified part ampli amplified part which obtained from uh, polymerase chain reaction after that uh, snp mining is also there transcriptomic uh, sequencing with the help of this transcriptomic analysis we can discover snp and whole genome sequencing reduced representation approach actually this reduced representation type approach is very important because we all know that two types of species are there diploid or either polyploid so in polyploid the repeated repeated copies are present so we cannot identify snp in polyploid or tetraploid species very easily it means we have to reduce the uh, complex genome of a polyploid species then we can identify snp so that's why this approach is used reduce representation approach to reducing the complex nature of the polyploid species so this is also the method and the sequence capture is these are the methods for discovery of snp so after discovery we have to validate ki this is a true snp or either it can be any insertion deletion or miss any 
faulty things so first we have to belief validate for this snp so once a group of snp has been discovered each locus should be evaluated to ascertain the following that that it is a true snp and not a product of sequencing error it should be true snp it should not be the product of sequencing error it should not be the faulty read read alignment so that's why validation of snp required and the another two another point is there ki that it's ally represent the homologous genomic region and not paralogous or homologous region that's why already i already discuss about the paralogous and orthologous gene it means for uh, uh, for uh, after snp discovery the validation of snp is required for solving the two problems ki this should be true snp it should not be the sequencing error or faulty read assignment and it's ally represent the homologous genomic region not the paralogous genes and third point is it should it segregated typically in mendelian fashion matlab it should follow the mendelian fashion segregation so that's why validation of snp is required now coming to the application where snp use in association study Associated study study means whether a genetic variant is associated with the disease or trait. Some suppose SNP are present. मतलब one nucleotide uh, is replaced by another nucleotide. So this is related to any disease or trait. So that's why this SNP you tag SNP tag SNP means whole genome SNP association study in which hundreds of thousands of SNP across entire genome are genotyped. So tag SNP means for genotyping purpose. For genotyping purpose means for tagging any particular uh, disease. or trait in a plant and haplotype mapping means haplotype means something linked together or inherited together it means for identification of the linked snp this haplotype mapping is required and for linkage disequilibrium after this uh, snp uh, video i will upload the separate video for this linkage disequilibrium concept this is a most important concept which comes in the association mapping so i will discuss this linkage disequilibrium in our next video now coming come to the some of the most important point although snp are less polymorphic i already discuss why they are less morphic because they are biallelic and ssr are multi allelic but this uh, okay due to the biallelic nature although snp are less polymorphic than ssr marker because of their biallelic nature they easily compensate this drawback by being abundant they are extremely abundant found in the genome and they are ubiquitous they found in the everywhere and amenable to the high and ultra high high throughput automation ssr are not amenable to the ultra high throughput automation so cost time is same discovery of snp sometimes serious obstacle due to the high repetitive nature of the plant genome i already discussed ki some ki uh, many transposable element many repetitive element are found that's why the discovery of snp is very problematic sometimes that's why we use the genome complexity reduction technique i already discussed and under this genome complexity these two approach come this crops uh, crop related approach and the red the restricted associated dna these are the genome complexity reduction technique so in polyploid spray actually three type of snp are present first one is the simple snp second one is the hemi snp and third one is the homeo snp actually this simple snp represent the true snp and these simple snp are mainly used for the genetic mapping and these two are less used and homeo snp are not used in genetic mapping so first in polyploid species we use this genome complexity reduction approach before snp discovery now coming to the last slide the advantage and limitation first super saturated genetic map we can construct super saturated genetic map super saturated means extremely abundant ubiquitous in position where snp are present so enabling enabling genome by tracking it means we can track the every part of the genome and the fine mapping very accurate high resolution fine map we can prepare the accurate position of a qtl in the genome and rapid association of marker with a trait because we use this snp in the association study so that's why rapid association marker with a trait and accelerated cloning of gene qtl of interest because due to the super saturated genetic map actually these all are advantage are related to this super saturated genetic map ek every technique have disadvantage also actually the main disadvantage i already discussed this is y allele in nature at a time only and it high equipment cost okay in the marker development i already discussed the marker in in one more the resequencing of even whole genome which is rather costly otherwise many techniques are there but this 
इन्वॉल्व रिसिक्वेंसिंग इज वेरी टफ टेक्निक सो थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर वॉचिंग अवर वीडियो